Hello and welcome to a new week on iRacing. We are starting off here with the USF 2000, actually, here at Legacy Phoenix. Um, doing some oval racing in the USF 2000. Something unique that comes around once in a while. Um, oval racing with a road car, a primarily road car, I guess I should say. Obviously, you can use, be used for uh, either oval or road, but uh, starting this off here. And uh, hopefully the audio is sounding a little bit better this time. I did a little bit more testing and uh, made sure everything was actually working. Apologies for last time. The uh, game sound wasn't working. So uh, hopefully it is all sounding good this time. Adjust the levels a little bit. Uh, made sure that everything was set up. But uh, we're going to do... Uh, we're going to do what's essentially super speedway racing at Phoenix, but not quite. It's um, more indie car flavor. Oops, I said the forbidden word. Oh my god. Uh, <laughs> iRacing doesn't like indie car, but whatever. Um, so I guess we're technically doing, what is what do they call it? Like, D-Class? Open wheel or something. Uh, no, USF 2000. <laughs> I'm going to call it what it is. Um... So we are the number one car by, um, let's see, about 4,000 I rating? No, th sorry, 2,000 I rating? No, it's about 3,000. Yeah, a little, like 3.5,000 I rating. <laughs> we are the um, number one car by. So that means uh, if we win, we'll probably get like two I rating. And if we uh, finish anywhere but first, probably gonna lose I rating and if like I get crashed out um, I'm probably just gonna have to delete my account so <laughs> I'm only kidding of course but uh, might as well start at 1300 if I uh, if I crash out of this one but clearly I don't care about I rating all that much because I wouldn't be racing this race otherwise and that would be just a shame to not race fun things or potentially fun things just because your uh, pretend number goes down and that's why I'm here green so flag, getting flag. started with qualifying here I found that uh, like shifting into fifth for turn one here well the tires are cold you kinda have to lift off pretty good and then I found that I shift into sixth and just keep it th through sixth gear on lap two, and you'll notice I'm going high line here, because you have to slow down so much for turn one. One more lap. On lap one, uh, lap two's lap is going to be better, I think. Yeah, so much more grip the next time through. Shifting right whenever that first red light appears, that's about when I found is best. And then uh, keeping this the wheels as straight as possible, very helpful. All right, we'll see what this does. This will be right about my best lap, uh, 0.059. Try to experiment something on there, see if I drive in really hard and then lift off big. I think kind of a more of a smooth approach works better though. Uh, right now that'll give us the pull, but still more people ready to go. I uh, I bet if you were to take lap one really easy and go real slow and like sit there and do like this number where you're like Ooh, warming my tires whole lap one and uh, go real slow around the corner so you're not actually wearing your tires just getting them up to temp I bet if you then got a run to the line on lap two then you would probably have just like a tiny bit more uh, grip in the tires while they're up to temp and you could probably get down to the even lower. I bet like if you hit it perfect you could even get into the 26 area, but I wasn't really too interested in trying that hard. So we're just gonna go with this. And uh, it's looking like it's working, which is good because I think it's gonna be very important to have the track position. Um, these the oval the races in um, the USF 2000 often are all about light lifts. Oh my god, I wanted to change my camera here. Uh, light lifts of the thro uh, throttle and uh, managing dirty air. Because you will get very tight in the dirty air if you're not careful. And it can make it very difficult to pass, uh, even if you get a huge draft leading up. So 
Um, we're going to see two, three, four wide probably, and I'm just hoping that I don't get run over. Um, very super speedway style in that way, kind of like I said before. But uh, also kind of like baby IndyCar, where you're dealing with uh, dirty air. Just going a lot slower. So that's what we're going to be doing here. Um, I'm going to be trying to protect the bottom a little bit. Um, not like doing anything too crazy, but track position is going to be important. I'm trying to... Uh, are you lifting on the back corner? Which one is the back corner? I'm presuming that's final corner. Um, the track temp is 79. Yeah, temp is 78 Fahrenheit. Yeah, what, what he said. I'll help a fellow Colton out, sure. And, uh, all the other people in the server, I guess. Looks like a second gear start. Maybe? Maybe not. We haven't got that data. Yeah, that's, uh, that hits the shift point pretty quick, so we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and do second gear start. I don't think we want that big of a jump, because we don't want a huge amount of uh, draft. I can't hear the Colton guy. This other Colton guy. <laughs> uh, I don't think his mic's working. Let's have that muted. I do not. About to go green. Stay focused. We're just going to go not super late, but not right away either. Okay, Colton, Gary, ready. Ready. Watch for the lights. Green flag, green flag. Alright, that'll do. Still got a good jump somehow. You know, I didn't really want one. Alright, it'll go to our inside, that's fine. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Clear. Inside. Still there. Kind of tries to do a slider there, but we stay Still in there, it. Inside. Um. Oh my god, don't slide up into me, dude. Please don't kill each other on the first lap. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Clear. Inside. Clear. Sliding up into Clear me. Inside. Got me worried. Clears me there. But we'll come back to the inside. Very, di very tight down there. Did not stick like I uh, expected it to. Got to keep really low here. I backed out a three wide. I think I gotta remember that we're going faster, and that's probably why I got tighter than I expected. The draft is making us go much faster, so I probably should have expected to need to uh, lift off more. Outside. Stay low. There was a car on the high side. So unfortunately, we lose some of that track position. The leader has just done twenty-seven point one. Fastest lap for. Still there. Hold your line. Zero. Interesting. It seems like the outside line is actually where you want to be. Clear up top. Because of the whole dirty air thing. Inside. E4. Still inside. Clear. Car inside. Hmm. Alright. So, outside line in race condition Still seems to be bottom. very nice. Stay high. The next car's the leader. Clear inside. 
Lift off here. Nowhere to go. Oh my god, that guy about nearly ran into the back of me. Inside. Okay, guy's shoving it down. Pretty wide. That guy's being really aggressive. Alright. Back to P2. Suddenly breaking away a little bit from some of those guys as they lost so much momentum, I guess. A little bit of a lift there. Two giving the three some draft. Interesting sixth gear seems good in turn one when you take that higher line. Inside. Gonna be heading into turn one really fast here, though. Very close racing. The guy on the inside. You're back in second. Inside. Still there, inside. It's just persisting on the inside here. Still inside. Clear inside. Car inside. Still there, hold your line. Clear. Hmm. Inside. Still there. Clear. Inside. Stay high with the car on the low side. Taking a lot of concentration, because neither of us willing to uh, back off, and I'm sure the guy ahead wants nothing more than us to be holding on out here. Got some lap traffic, that could be interesting. Hi. No idea where the lap traffic's gonna go. Hi. It's running into me. Pushed up a little bit. Maybe I was too tight down low, I don't know. I don't feel high. like it. Ugh. Having the two cars up ahead really got the dirty air going and that made me really tight. Still there. Stay high with the car on the low side. Clear inside. That car in the way there. P3. That last lap was at 27.4. I'll almost push up into the wall. Not doing the greatest at dealing with the dirty air, but doing my best here. They're side by side. That was a big late move by the three. Nearly a collision. Car 
car inside. Still inside. Keep high. Stay high. You're up top, three wide. Three wide for some reason. Still there. That Still seems there. like a bad idea. Hold your line. We're on high though. Inside, two wide. Clear inside. Somehow works. Well enough. That will clear him. Had to be a little aggressive there, but that's kind of just what you have to do, I think. You're back in second. Alright, can we have a shot at the leader here? Trying to go enter high and get a run on him here. Great job. Mm, to go. Not feeling that. I didn't think I had a chance to get it done at low there. Outside. Still there, hold your line. Keep low. Clear high. Not quite. Car inside. Still there, hold your line. Still you got there. a new challenger here, the four. Going for second place. They're blocking back there and nearly wrecking. That's a little scary. I think I might want to be sticking it to sixth gear right now. I don't know if shifting is the way anymore. Alright, well I was going to try to get a run with the fives Still coming there. through. Still inside. Still there. Still there. got the grimace scheme. You're up top three oh wide. great, we're three wide again. Still there, still there. Right side, two wide. Keep high. Keep high. You're this is why track position is important. Right side, two, wide. two got himself Keep up high. front when he needed to. Now he is uh, reaping the rewards of watching us fight back here. Five to go. You got five laps to go. You're back in second. So even you're looking good. And a little harder there. Bigger lift. See how that works. Not too bad. Just proving to be very difficult to gain ground in this guy. He gave us lots of room down low though, just then. We got out of the dirty air for long enough to have a great corner. Man, it's so hard to break through this dirty air. I'm trying all kinds of things. Two more, let's go. Two laps left. We're on for a podium here. That lap time was 27.2. All right, we're coming to the white flag. Am I going to be able to get this done? 
outside. Cap to Kennedy. Bill there, hold your line. Retain. White flag, white flag. Not likely he's gonna get a run on the high side. Clear up top. Dang it. Alright, Colton, one more to go. Keep it together, we'll be on the podium. And I'll have draft from the lap car now, so that's pretty much over, I think. Car outside. Oh well, second place. Still there, hold your line. I'll take it. Still there. We'll lose I rating, like I said we would, but that's okay. All right, there's chicken flag. Second place. Just couldn't defeat the dirty air. Nice run. Solid work. Oops, that's the wrong letter. Good race and good win. All right, we'll take it. Bring it to a stop safely. Get our 0x, not so bad. 84.93, there could have been some tire saving um, I could have done, maybe. Maybe that would have been the difference needed to pass them, but after fighting so long side by side, there was really no way I could tire save doing that, so. Who knows, maybe I could have backed off and just straight up didn't do the whole side by side thing, but. Lap three, the 11's getting on the apron and then coming together. Hard to say um, if maybe the uh, 12 was too low or if the 11 was going too high. That moment of contact. I feel like the uh, 11 has a lane there. It's kind of tough though. Tough to say because it's kind of weird corner. And with these things, you can stick to your line so much better than if you're like in a stock car. Fortunately, with 12 getting the worst of it, and that's it. That's all that happened. <laughs> Except for, uh, whoa, almost a thing right there. So, that will do it. Uh, we did have some other incidents, but probably just some slight contact. And uh, that will do it for this one. Pretty quick race to start the week. Nice and simple. We'll go ahead and look at the race results before we head on to the next one. So, very low strength of field. It was a 1650, and uh, we will lose 3i rating for our runner up finish. But uh, keep our A499 up there. And uh, it was pretty fun trying to defeat that uh, dirty air. I was not able to keep the track position early, though, and uh, that probably would have made all the difference for us. Just really tough when they're coming at a thousand miles an hour, and uh, at the time they had the completely fresh tires. So, just didn't quite work out for us for a P2, and uh, couldn't quite break through that dirty air. But that'll do it for this one. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll bring some more of the new week of I racing up here tonight. I'll be racing some uh, some more on Monday here. And uh, you'll be getting more of that soon enough. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.